Many people keep chickens for different purposes. Some people keep them for meat, which is usually the most common reason. Others keep them for eggs, you know, you want to produce eggs to eat at home, in your family. And a lot of people keep them for commercial purposes. You know, you don't want to probably eat the chickens yourself, or you don't want to keep the eggs yourself and eat them. But you just want to produce them and sell them, get money, it's business. Just like I do. Well, sometimes I end up eating them, but it's mainly for business purpose. But whatever reasons you keep chickens for, if you're keeping your chickens for laying eggs, the worst news you want is that the production of eggs is decreasing or that it has stopped altogether. Now coincidentally, the disorganized mess that you see behind me is the inside of our layer breeder house. Inside here is where we're keeping about 3,000 layer breeders. I'll just explain what layer breeders are. These are chickens, both male and female, that are kept together. The eggs that they produce are fertilized eggs. These eggs are collected, taken inside an incubator, they hatch, and the chicks that come out are what are called the commercial layers. These are phenomenal birds. They produce up to 330 eggs a year. You know, when they start laying, the first year they can give you 330 eggs. Interesting, awesome. So these are birds that we produce over here at Farm Up. These are called Farm Up Chicks. And for us, our birds, the breeders inside here, were able to get up to 97% production. And the worst news that I could ever want is to hear news that, hey, my production has dropped. Because if my production, for example, drops to even 80% from 97%, that's 17% less. That's 17% less chicks than I can get. So for me, the goal is to ensure that I have as many eggs and as many chicks as possible. Now, there are many reasons your chickens might decrease or stop laying. Some of these causes are natural and expected. Some of them are caused by changes in the environment and management, and there are things that can be changed. And unless you know what the cause of your decrease in laying is, you won't be able to try and correct it. So let's dive right into the causes of decreased egg laying. First and most commonly is poor nutrition. Chickens, just like everything else, need a balanced diet in order to be able to, you know, lay eggs, produce eggs. They need carbohydrates, they need proteins, they need vitamins, they need calcium. You know, eggshells are mainly made of calcium. So calcium is very important. If the birds are not getting enough calcium, they're going to have weak eggshells and they'll even decrease in terms of production of the number of eggs and the size of the eggs. So if the nutrition of the birds is not balanced, you're giving them too much of one nutrient and not the other. If they're missing proteins, for example, the biggest composition of eggs is proteins. So if there's very little protein in the animal diet, they're going to have fewer and fewer eggs. If there's very little energy, they're going to have fewer and fewer eggs. So you need to make sure that the nutrition is balanced. Now, this one actually has very huge implications. If it is something that has been happening just in the recent past, for example, you've been giving the birds good food, you know, well-balanced food, and then recently, in the recent past, you probably rain broke, or the raw materials disappeared. You know, the, the production will decrease, but if you get everything back, it will get back to normal. But then if you've raised the birds on bad nutrition, right from day one, then it's very, very difficult to get those birds to optimum production. For example, like we said, our Issa brown birds, the farm-up chicks that we produce over here, can get you up to 96-97% production. Now, if you raise these birds poorly, right from day one in the brooder, you're giving them food that's not balanced. They reach the point of, you know, what we call the grower phase, probably 10-12 weeks. You're still giving them unbalanced food. It means that the parts of the body that are responsible for production of these eggs are not going to be developed. The reproductive system is not going to be developed very well. And so don't expect this bird to give you 96%. It might probably struggle and go as high as 81%, but it might never hit a 96%. So some of the implications of poor nutrition are long-lasting, depending on how long you've done it, and some of them are shorter lasting. So really the solution to this, if it's bad nutrition, is Give the good birds good nutrition. It doesn't matter whether it was from the beginning or it was just right here. Good nutrition will improve your egg production. Number two, molting. Now, molting is something that happens in quite a number of animals. Chickens molt, snakes molt while they shed their skin and they develop new skin. Same thing with birds. Chickens usually molt about once every year. You know, they lose their old feathers and they'll develop new feathers. It's like they are reborn. When they develop new feathers, you know, they are stronger. They are rejuvenated. Unfortunately, humans don't molt. Well, humans don't molt. I don't know. Is there a version for molting in humans? I don't think there's a version for molting in humans. But it's very beneficial for lots of other animals because they are rejuvenated when they molt. Now, when chickens do molt and lose their feathers, they need to regain their feathers. And this process of feather growth consumes a lot of energy and a 
lot of protein because a lot of the feathers the biggest percentage or the biggest composition of them is proteins so what happens during that time is that a lot of the nutrients that would have gone toward weight gain and production of eggs will be sent towards formation of feathers so the production and the egg laying will decrease generally and this one is usually harder to correct but the only way to correct it is give the birds more feed and give them more feed that's rich in proteins because the protein is the part that's lacking the most in the feed at this time now the third reason is daylight stimulation the thing with chickens is that they require light in order to lay eggs if you keep chickens in places where there is very little daylight that most likely not going to lay or they will lay very 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 few eggs if you keep them in a place where you for example only have four hours of daylight for a whole year they might never lay eggs because they need light stimulation in order to lay eggs now ideally the best amount of daylight is about 16 hours of daylight that would give you the best production over here in the tropics like i am in uganda we usually have about maybe 12 to 13 hours of daylight every day now people who are in the temperate regions you know further away from the equator you know we are right at the equator people who are further away from the equator usually will have seasons where they have loads of daylight and then seasons when they have very little daylight a few hours maybe four five six seven eight hours so those people the birds will suffer a lot during the seasons when there is very little daylight because daylight is required for stimulation of egg production now for us over here you know our 13 hours is not so far away from 16 hours which is optimum so a lot of the farmers over here actually never stimulate the birds with increased daylight you know just three extra hours of daylight but even an added three hours of daylight would actually stimulate the birds to produce more eggs so for people who are living in areas where there's very little daylight it's quite simple to stimulate your birds to produce eggs again just give them daylight give them 16 hours of daylight you know it's not daylight ideally but you produce light you know you just put in lamps you know like inside this chicken house here we had our layer breeders inside here so you can see bulbs and these bulbs were actually used to stimulate it wasn't daylight it was light but you know you make sure that the color temperature of the light is a particular temperature that kind of simulates daylight and that will be enough to ensure that your chickens do lay more eggs oh by the way just in case you're wondering what this entire mess is about this is litter this is litter that we are collecting from the inside of the chicken houses so we are putting it inside bags like i can see this side we've got out most of the litter over there now this other side we still have quite an amount of the litter it's inside bags and after we finish bagging all of it which we are actually almost done doing we want to take it outside the houses and we shall put it in some of the plantations that we have so we are just trying to clean out the house you know these were birds that had been removed the feeders have been removed as you can see this is the piping that brings the feed from the top so all the feeders have been removed the drinkers are still here they have been raised they just need to be washed and uh, kept away very safely. We are trying to clear out the house and then we shall wash it properly. So that's the disorganized mess that you're seeing on the inside here. Yeah, This was for an old flock that we actually did cull. Number four, which is actually a very common reason as to why a lot of birds stop or decrease laying. Stress. Loads of stress to the birds. Now there are a lot of things that can cause stress to the birds and I'll give a few examples. Environment very very common cause either too much heat or too much cold you see it's very important that the house or the coop of the chickens is aerated if you're keeping your birds on free range it's important that they are in a place that's not too hot if the place is too hot the birds spend a lot of their time trying to cool down so you look at them and they are just panting and so during the time when they are panting they're actually not feeding and number two they're using the energy that they have to cool themselves instead of producing eggs so that energy literally goes to waste instead of being used to produce eggs the energy is simply being used to cool themselves down on the contrary if it's too cold again the birds don't feed because you know they, they become a bit docile they are trying to conserve their energy and number two they use the energy that they have you know what they feed on the little that they feed on they use that energy to try to generate heat to keep themselves warm so 
the two extremes of weather are not ideal. So for us here in the tropics, it's very important that the houses are open because for us here it never gets really cold. You know, if it gets to 18 degrees for us here, we say it's too cold. You find people shivering because it's too cold and that's 18 degrees Celsius. So most of the year, it's, it's you know, it's optimum temperature, but currently it gets a bit quite hot, you know, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. So when it gets to such temperatures, then it's important that the places are wide open like you see on our sides here so that you have a lot of fresh air coming inside and the house remains cool and the birds don't need to suffer that heat stress another cause of stress is moving birds you know if you're moving birds from place to place or moving them between different houses that movement and changing location stresses the birds out and it can cause them to decrease egg production also new noises you know uh, you've had birds in the area and then all of a sudden construction works start nearby or you bring in cattle and they're living nearby and they just start mowing you know just new noises they startle and scare the birds and because of that the birds get stressed out and they are production decreases another very common one which is actually one of the most common ones is diseases diseases cause stress to the body yeah they these are microorganisms from the outside you know bacteria viruses they cause stress to the body and they cause a decrease in production actually one of the very quick indicators that your birds might be sick is if the production comes down because the production might come down you haven't yet gotten any other serious symptoms but the production starts dropping hey start suspecting a disease you know you can get one or two birds and test them out make sure that they are not sick vaccinations are also a very common cause of decreased production you see that's why for layers, most of the vaccination is done before week 18. Because by week 18, we expect our first eggs. We don't want to stress the birds during this time. So we do all the vaccinations before. But even when the birds are, you know, adults and they're beyond 18 weeks, we give them some vaccines like Newcastle disease. So when the birds are receiving these vaccines, it's it's very common for the production to decrease a bit because again a vaccine is a pathogen uh, that's meant to give the birds immunity so this pathogen again at some point is going to cause stress to the birds themselves and finally predators if you have a chicken house like here and even even if it's something really small like rats inside the houses they start on the birds you get snakes coming inside the house they will start on the birds you have cats moving around the chicken house they start on the birds or you have cats chasing your chickens dogs chasing your chickens the birds will get started and their production is going to drop so you need to keep predators away another point is broodiness now broodiness is a natural tendency for birds yeah when they lay eggs they naturally want to sit on the eggs because they want to incubate them and hatch them so they get babies just like everyone else gets babies they also want babies but hey for you you don't want them to get babies you just want eggs you want them to keep producing and laying and laying eggs so when birds get to this point of becoming broody and they sit on their eggs you know they might lose some feathers and try to use those feathers to cover the eggs so that the eggs keep warm during that time they don't produce eggs they don't lay eggs because they produce hormones in their body these hormones stimulate broodiness and that ensures that you're not going to have any other eggs being laid this is very very common so during the time when the birds are broody don't expect any eggs you won't get eggs because it's like a pregnant woman getting pregnant again it's impossible right so of course there are things that can be done to get birds out of broodiness which i believe i'll share in another video because it's another topic of its own you know how to stop birds from getting broody i'll share in another video but there are birds that are more inclined to getting broody compared to others then age another reason your birds might not be laying might actually be age you know, they're just too old yeah they're done they're tired <laughs> you're just tired of laying eggs you see what usually happens is that birds like i said earlier will peak in production in their first year and after the first year their production will keep decreasing like i said the Issa brown can give you 330 eggs some breeds can give you maybe 280 some 250 so what usually happens is that after the first year over the next every year the production decreases by about 40 to 50 eggs sometimes even up to 80 eggs so as the birds get older it's normal for the production to you know for the production to decrease so don't expect it to change i don't think this is something you can change because you're not going to make the chickens younger so it's just something normal that happens with age just like humans reach menopause and they can't produce any more babies finally and it's actually quite common theft theft is another reason your birds might decrease laying well theoretically might decrease laying but in reality of course they haven't decreased laying you're just seeing less of the eggs i had a story where someone once had uh, birds 
She had a thousand birds and they were producing about 30 trays every day. And then after some time, the production just kept decreasing, 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 decreasing. And supplied her my farmer birds. So I knew that these birds are really good birds and they, they produce really well. But the production kept decreasing and it reached, you know, she was only getting 18 trays a day. So she got angry at me, decided to sell off her birds. On the day when she was selling off her birds, she counted the birds because, you know, she's expecting to get money. So as the people are taking the birds, she's counting. And out of a thousand birds, I think she only got 700 and something birds inside her house. So in reality, the birds were actually laying, but the birds had been stolen. Or also, the eggs might be stolen. So the birds could be stolen or the eggs could be stolen. And so you think your birds are not laying, but hey, someone is stealing the eggs. And the eggs could be stolen by either human beings or animals, you know. Sometimes there is wild animals that do eat eggs. So maybe you have a snake lurking around and it, it knows where the eggs are. Any, any other kind of wild animal, it lurks around and it knows where the eggs are. It just keeps coming and picking eggs, picking eggs. You're thinking, ah, my, my chickens are laying less eggs. All the workers inside the chicken house, all the people at home, they're just stealing the eggs and you're thinking, huh, this bird is laying less eggs. But in reality, it's laying enough eggs. Someone is actually choosing to decrease the production of the bird. So yes, those are the reasons your birds might be laying less eggs. Or maybe the reasons why you might be finding less chicken eggs inside your chicken house. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. That way you never miss out on an upload. Lots of love. Bye-bye.